All right, guys, let's keep moving. So we have all the positions, which is good. So if we go back here, I'm actually going to go back to my GitHub page and I'm going to copy this bit right here. And what this is going to do is this is going to make a new array that has more information in it. So instead of, you know how we're setting um, this information in state and all we're setting right now is just the name. So all we're setting is lunch run, which isn't very helpful. We need to set more information. So what I'm doing here is um, basically looping through all the activities and grabbing the polyline, uh, grabbing the name, and then uh, where am I? Dec and then here decoding um, the polyline and basically storing this in an object. Um, so let's just do that. And this needs to say set activities. And let's not worry about this error right now. Let's just look at what this is doing a little closer. Um, so we're making this new array called polylines. And then we're looping through all of the items, all the activities. And then we're setting um, this equal to that polyline. And then this equal to the activity name. And then we're pushing um, the decoded polyline to this activities position um, key and then the name to activity name. Um, so let's just run that and make sure we see um, what we're expecting. So let's refresh it. So you see this is what we have now. So now we have an array of these objects. So we have lunch run and activity positions. So now the challenge is, this is all the information we want, but we have to pass this into our state. And this is where it got a little confusing and crazy for me. For some reason, this is like a TypeScript thing, but I can't just set activities like that. So what we have to do is we actually have to make something called an interface, which is a TypeScript thing. And it basically, tells TypeScript like exactly what type of um, data you're working with. And I know this is confusing and it's confusing to me too. So if anybody has any clarification on this, um, just uh, let me know just in the comments. Uh, but yeah, I, I need to study this more, but we need to make this interface. So just copy that. And where is it? I'm gonna throw it up here and call it activity and change this to activity and now it it likes what we passed it so if i go back here oh it didn't like that What doesn't it like about that? Oh, I think it doesn't like this probably. Let me see if we get rid of that and just, let's just like say something. Okay. All right, so cool. Now that's working. So now we're ready to attempt to get everything working down here. Um, uh, so let's give it a shot. So I'm going to uncomment this stuff and get rid of this high statement. And it's very similar to um, the marker. So I'm actually going to keep this marker here. Uh, we're not using the filtered stations anymore. So instead of filtered stations, we're going to access um, what we set. So remember the set activities, we set polylines and this is basically how you access what you set. So we call it activities. I think I spelled that activities. Yeah, I think I spelled that wrong. Activities. All right, so we should be able to access activities 
and we're going to map not Tesla we're going to map the activity activity and then we also need to map an index so I need to give one more parenthesis here so you know how we had a, an ID so for the key in our construct we didn't we don't have like um, an ID per se so what you can do is you can just use the index as an as a, a key so we're using zero and one as the key so that's what's going on there and instead of marker what we need to use is um, it's called polyline so polyline and this is going to just be I because that's our index and then the polyline let me actually close this um, the polyline doesn't take a position it takes something called positions so if we look at um, react leaflet polyline actually I don't know where this documentation went it's somewhere in here all right guys I found it like 10 minutes later but it's in public API child components polyline um, why was I even showing that to you? Oh, I wanted to show you that it takes positions. So here, the prop is positions instead of position. So if we go back here, we can just say, um, activities dot, and what did we call the activity positions? This isn't, it's not activities link, it's act, just, it's um, activities. All right, activities.map activity. That looks good. Pop a position. This is going to be, this also takes positions, and it's going to be the same as this. Let's get rid of this for now. Actually, let's not worry about this pop-up because it's confusing. For now, let's just worry about the polyline. Oh, you know, I finally figured this out. The poly, we didn't import this polyline, so it doesn't know what this thing is. So like, remember how we imported map container, tile layer, pop-up? We also need to import. <laughs> Polyline. That makes more sense. Oh, wait a second. Polyline. Wait a second. Yeah, I think we need. So it's a little confusing. There's two polylines. The polyline from hey, we don't even need I don't know where that came from, but we don't even need that one. There's the polyline that's from React Leaflet, and then the polyline that we use to decode. So that that's a little confusing. Um, but yeah, now it looks like we have our polyline. So yeah, with any luck, this should display the activity, but the pop-up won't work yet, but activities should work so we need to change the where it zooms to initially but there we go we have an activity we actually have a couple activities here 
um, and we can't click on it, but we see that that is coming from um, here. So looks good. Uh, I'm gonna cut the video. It's getting long again, uh, and we'll finish this up in, in the last video and in, in the next video. Thanks.